and I'm uh, welcoming you to the art of hosting. And today we're going to go through the how to how to host your guests and how to prepare a great martini. So please enjoy it. So you were a, a previous winner in 2010. What do you think was your secret? What made you? What was your special ingredient? Oh, that's still a secret. I can't tell. <laughs> but one of those two are love and passion and dedicated to this work. And what's your advice to the series contestants? Uh, well, it's a full package of bartending, not just making a cocktail, but creating the atmosphere, creating the experience for the guests, and uh, bringing, bringing the flavor, bringing the flair to the art of bartending. And what are your favorite cocktails to make, personally? Uh, favorite cocktail to make, it's a uh, favorite of the occasion, what is it like? If it's in the morning, it's a Bloody Mary. At this time, that would be a martini, in the evening is a Manhattan, old fashioned. And for Valentine's Day, for a special girl? Oh, I would go for champagne. And what is the one cocktail you love best to drink? Uh, which one is in my glass? And out of all the different Diageo brands, which ones are the most creative, do you, do you think, to use in cocktails? Well, today the spirits are such well-crafted, so they, I don't see any problems or differences between each other. So all of them are great and it's just all about a personal flavor and preference. And tell me a little bit about your style. Bartenders always dress very fashionably. What are you wearing? Who are you wearing? And where do you generally shop? Wow, what I'm wearing, it's... Uh, it's classic jacket with a Kilgore tie and uh, I like I like to represent the bartending as as a style as well rather than just uh, throwing out drinks and getting people drunk because that's not about bartending. And do you think it impresses the girls if you can make a nice cocktail? I hope it impresses everyone, which is a good one. And a little tip for all the boys who are watching this. What's the secret if they've never made a nice made a cocktail before? How do you start? What's step one? Uh, step one. Having a good spirit. Step two, having a good quality of ice, and most importantly, having a great crowd who will drink this. And sometimes people tell bartenders and mixologists their secrets. Has anyone told you a really good secret? Yes, of course, but that's a secret. <laughs> great, thank you. It's a pleasure.